So interesting experience so far. We arrived at the car park about four o'clock. We're expecting to be at site between five, half five. We set off and then the strap for my backpack that supports my waist snapped, which made the trek a whole lot more difficult. After expecting to be at site between one hour, 90 minutes after we set, two hours pass and we're still not there. I need to watch what I'm doing here because it's pure bog land. Where I want to go is just behind those trees, but we took the wrong cut off and we've ended up here. Found a, a nice little woodland spot. But over on that wooded section, you've got this exotic sandy beach, which you'll see in my drone footage. It's not happy guys. Trekked for a good two hours and never got to my dreamy spot that I've been dying, that I've been dying to reach for over a year now. I was hoping to do it in winter with all the snow, but then lockdown kicked in. It's just me and one of um, one of the people that comment on my videos on Facebook. Paul's just getting back into the camping. There is some midges about, not as bad as I anticipated. They were attacking me earlier on, but once I put on some DEET, I feel invincible. I feel like a god right now. We arrived late. My backpack's waist belt snapped and I'm not in my dream spot. You don't want to fall in there. Not all camping trips go as planned. But I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to pitch up here. Not a bad wee spot. So what have I got with me this weekend? Tell I not weekend, it's a weekday. I've got the Vango Ultralight 600. I'll tell you one thing, it compresses very well. Got myself the high gear luxury pillow. I've got the Mikio, or however you pronounce it, an aligner. You can get other an aligners that compress better than that. And the Femares Neo Air X Lite. And all set up. For anyone that's interested in the sleeping bag, there's the specs. So, suggested usage, 0 to 20 Celsius, it's a three season bag. Comfort 5, women should be looking at that, and limit 0 Celsius, men in a fetal position, should be checking that bad boy out. Um, I got this bag for free from my old neighbour, very grateful of it. I've took out, I use it as my summer bag, I've took it out in summer many occasions and I've been warm every single time. The only downside is he gave me it in the compression sack, fully compressed, and I believe it was like that for a good year, so that would have an impact in its internal fibres. Looks very cosy. And your man Paul has got his OEX Fox. We'll check his gear out in a second. So with him, he's got the closed cell foam mat underneath. And he said he got this sleeping mat from Mountain Warehouse. Self-inflating. And it comes with a little pillow. And he's wet and cheap and cheerful. Since we've got a warm night ahead with a sleeping bag from B&M Bargains. I advised the big man to get this tent. He was thinking between that and the Vango NYX. But I told him, stay away from that. You want the Fox. Better value for money. For £50, can handle all types of weather. Like the Vango NYX. Fiberglass poles, don't want to risk it. Look at that guys, we've even got two benches. Thinking about having a small fire on that big bit of stone. Interesting yet terrifying little path.
I've got my trusty Ridge Monkey. Two small pizzas. Veggie pastrami. Veggie bacon. Veggie sausages. And mozzarella and cheese mix. I'm going to put extra mozzarella on the pizza. Along with some pastrami. And then I'm going to wrap it in veggie bacon. Oofed. And then I'm going to set that on top of that. Now does that look? Oh boy. A little boathouse and two little boats. Last man standing. Make myself some burnt veggie bacon and sausage. Time for bed. Where's the tent? Jackpot. Take me have some breakfast and then start packing. Not that much rain as expected, guys. Gorgeous nonetheless. But as you can see, that's where we had the fire and we've left it better than it was when we arrived. But we bench there, we bench there. And there is plenty of flat spots in there, especially down in that direction. But it was a very warm night, very warm fire. But look at that. Better than we arrived. No, it was just too warm a sleep for me. I just stayed, went in the inner liner. Used a sleeping bag as a blanket and then went to sleep. But I had a, had a crap sleep. I had about five and a half hours. How did you find the OEX box? There you go guys, another fan of EX Fox. But that's us packed up and ready to go. As you can see, no trace. Just need to find somewhere to put this. But thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed.